Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit Blitz and today we're going to have a look at this little beastie. This is the FV217, the Badger, the British Tier 10 TD, which is a collectible. So why am I looking at it? Well, firstly somebody asked and secondly it's in the store. Let's get into this beastie. So the damage is okay, rate of fire, mm, penetration is very good. Hit points, it's not too bad, hit points 2000, frontal armor you can see is rock solid. View range is okay, concealment, about average. DPM, well it's okay actually, reload time is not bad. Look at that penetration, the penetration is oof. Damage, well it's a British TD, it's low damage unless you're looking at the uh, 183. Gun depression, 10 degrees, isn't bad, it means you can go haul down. And it is not that slow, it's like 25 kilometers an hour. This is the loadout I stick it with, mainly because for me it works. Um, it may be different for you. I mean, I stick it with the refined gun rather than the stabilizer because I don't need the stabilizer on this thing. The aim time is that good. Crew skills wise, I stick it with this because you get a lot more out of your British crew with a cup of tea. Let's be honest, they'll do everything a lot faster. Sticking it into tank compare, you can see DPM wise, only the 263 outshines it. Penetration, well, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Rate of fire, again, the 263 beats it. Reload time, the 263 beats it. Nothing beats it for aim time, however. And that's the thing. While it's not, there's something else. There's another trick up this thing's sleeve. Credit coefficiency, well, it's the best TD for credits in tier 10. Look at the win rate. Not the best, which surprised me, to be fair. Now I mentioned another trick a bit sleeve, and that trick is its frontal armor. I mean, this thing is just a beast front on. It's like the Fosh, but better. How does that stack up though when you stick it against an E100? Ooh, that's how it stacks up against an E100. I mean, this thing is just a big red bouncy castle against a premium super heavy that is the E100. It's also a really good side scraper. And with that 10 degrees of gun depression, it makes a big difference. If I stick in the APCR, you can see not much changes. Okay, those sort of hatches come a bit more green and so does the bottom plate. However, this thing ain't cheap. It's currently in the store for 20,000 gold. Now, gold isn't a bad thing. It's better than cash, let's be honest. But 20,000 gold, I mean, that is an obscene amount of gold, guys. Don't get me wrong, it's a good tank. Don't get me wrong, it's a tier 10. Don't get me wrong, you get all the equipment unlocked and everything. But 20k gold seems a little bit excessive. But you are getting a tier 10 collectible for that. So what is this beast like in a game? Well, firstly, I'm going to show you two replays, and I apologize for the quality. The reason I apologize, I, I played this on the Asian server yesterday. I actually bought it on my Asian account, and uh, because I already have it on my EU account, and I was struggling with excessive ping issues, so everything seems a little bit out of sync. So I apologize for that. The thing about this tank is, frontally, it is rock solid. I mean, I love this tank. If you like TDs, then boy, you're gonna love this tank. It's got fantastic reload time. I mean, it's like a 263, let's be honest, but it's a bit more versatile than the 263. If I'm being fair, I mean, the 263 has got the advantage of having good mobility. This thing has a very low profile, absolutely fantastic gun depression. I mean, look at that, just bounced 800 from him over there. And then I managed to smack him on his lower plate. That's a Jaeger and I'm gonna bounce him again a few times in this game. So whilst you may be thinking that it's a similar play style to the 263, it really isn't because of that gun depression. You really can go haul down and be a nuisance in this thing. I mean, I'm frontlining this here, I just bounced him again. Look. So I've bounced 1,600, dished at 2,300. I make a mistake here when going after that tank when I should have left the SU deal with it, but clearly the SU was struggling, which annoyed me. He should have dealt with it. I therefore get smacked quite a few times here and lose all my hit points. It was just a daft move on my part. Basically, I think there's a T-57 Heavy down there smacking me with his clipper, but watch this for a shot. I mean, look at that accuracy. This gun 
is awesome. I mean, you've got a super accurate gun on this TD. And, I mean, I've got 2,400 damage, I've dished out 3,200. We're not doing too badly in this game, there's only three tanks left. The gun on this is brilliant. The frontal armour on this is brilliant. You can come on stuck, however. I mean, watch this for a shot. I can barely see his bottom plate. Barely see it, but I can get it. <laughs> now the 57 Heavy is going to have a, a good time with me. He's fully loaded. Bless him. He's done well, and I get wasted. But I get a first class, and I enjoyed the game. So I rolled out in it again. Again, I still have ping issues. This time we're on Supremacy, and we're on Winter Malinovka. And I went to the B cap because I was trying to be ultra aggressive in it. I want to show you, you know, how it goes all down and blah blah blah. And this thing, I just love this tank. And if you've got twenty thousand gold just hanging around, and you haven't got this tank in your garage, guys, it really is worth the investment. To be honest with you, I mean, you are getting a very nice tier ten TD. It may not be a 183. It may not have the mobility of the Fosh or the 263. It may not have, you know, the armor of a Yeageru per se. But I tell you what, this thing has got massive frontal armor. This thing has got an insanely accurate gun. And it is, it, it's, it's a beautiful tank to drive. And like I said, with that gun depression, oh! Boy, you can have fun with this thing. And I'm going to face off now at IS4, and he's going to bounce me in a minute, I think. And I'm just going to give him a hard time. And you can do that in this thing. I'm already up to 2,000 damage. And you can really be aggressive in this tank, if you want to. I wouldn't say it's noob-friendly, but I'll tell you what, for a big, whopping tier 10 TD, you can't put many feet wrong in this. I mean, the IS-4 there played really well. I mean, he was aiming for my bottom plate, and he managed to get it. But we got rid of him, we did 2,900 damage so far. Now well, we've done 3,300, we've capped a base, we've been ultra-aggressive. I do die in this game, by the way, but it just happens. This is only the second game. Now the IS-7 is uh, making a move, as you'll see. So he's pushing in on one of my teammates, he's going to get rid of my teammate, and then he makes a mistake by showing his bottom plate to a badger with the badger's penetration. Now, face hug him, he can't pen me, and he's going to struggle. I'm not going to struggle to take him out though. I over angle to the Farsh, and the Farsh gets my bottom plate, but we do 4,000 damage, we cap a base, we took a couple of kills, oh no, we took one kill. Yeah, run, only one. <laughs> the others didn't register because somebody else, I shot them at the same time. But I enjoyed the game and I enjoyed the tank and I got a mastery for it and that was nice for my second game. I've been Fujit. That has been the Badger or the FV217, the British tier 10 collectible that is currently in the stores. With a hefty price tag, I must admit. However, it is a nice tank. By all means, comment and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. As per usual, thank you for all my subs for continuing to subscribe to me. It makes me happy. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It costs you nothing. Of course, makes me happy. Massive shout out to my Patreons who, without their continued support, videos like this would be a lot harder. And until the next time, guys, say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because guys, really, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.